Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Reddity Rose report. I got some good news for you, Dish Network users. They changed their mind and will now be carrying WWE's WrestleMania 30 pay per view on channels 455, 456, and HD in uh, standard definition. Uh, they're also saying that they're going to evaluate WWE's pay per views on event by event basis after WrestleMania. So uh, it's not saying they gave in totally, but. The only way they're going to know if they are going to lose that they're losing money to the network on pay per views, you got to try it. You got to get out there and see if your buys are up from last year, down from last year. Uh, but just, oh, I'm not going to do it. I ain't going to tell nobody nothing. Idiots. But they got smart. Anyway, Scott Hall, he tweeted about Razor Ramon being inducted. To, did you notice Razor got inducted, not Scott Hall, <laughs> into the Hall of Fame this year? He says, uh, Thanks to WWE, all the fans at Raw in Brooklyn for the love. Dreams come true. Hard work pays off. Bad times don't last. Bad guys do. All right, several legends of wrestling roundtable, old school events, and Raw flashbacks, WCCW TV, and ECW hardcore television episodes are being added to the WWE Network this week, by the way. Don't know whether we're on there today. I haven't looked, but uh, the old WCCW stuff. Uh, I've got a tape in the back that's got the, the first time uh, uh, Dingo Warrior was ever shown on TV. I think it was like 305 pounds then. Anyway, uh, Sunday's episode of the Total Divas drew about 1.2, 1.3 million viewers, somewhere like that, for about a 1.6 rating. And in the 18 to, demo, 18 to 49 demographics, that's up from the season premiere. People, more people knows they're on. And noted before, old last night's Raw for Brooklyn, it was sold out, and the place was so packed in there that there were signs hanging backstage warning people not to ask for comp tickets. There wasn't any. All right, now, you know, uh, I've heard much about um, the WWE Network problems, you know, over the when it first started up. I don't hear hardly anything now, so the bugs must be worked out of it, and I know I haven't had any problems, but... I bet there's going to be a lot of fans when WrestleMania comes next well, week from Sunday uh, that uh, there's no way I don't think they can test if there's going to be able to handle a million, let's say, billion WWE Network fans streaming that you know, into their house. Got a feeling it's going to be a, a nightmare. Uh, I know they've tried it with, um, uh, what was it, uh, the Wednesday show, the main event. Of course, they don't have no... Millions of, and and they tried streaming that live to the network, but I don't know whether they had any problems with it or not. Never heard. But anyway, I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of people going to have a lot of buffering going on, or they can't get on there because there's so many people watching it uh, on that site. But I don't know. I got a feeling it's going to be a nightmare. Original Sin Cara had a nightmare. Not happy when WWE tweeted photos of Sin Cara character at the Scooby Doo WrestleMania premiere movie in New York City. While the character is in the movie and the original Sin Cara voiced, uh, voice used, Cara wrote, Fraud, fraud, on Twitter and sent the tweets to Stephanie and Vince and Triple H before deleting it, though. All right, many fans that last night's Raw in Brooklyn, they were upset that Daniel Bryan did not appear. Uh, besides being advertised for the dark main event, or main, yeah, dark match, uh, WWE said on Friday's SmackDown that Bryant would be on Raw as uh, and as of late as Raw pre-show, but uh, still not being advertised to appear. And noting that uh, WWE's website is not advertising Bryant for tonight's SmackDown taping at Boston either. So whether he got a legitimate injury, whether they're just trying to sell it, they shouldn't be saying he's going to show up though. Say he's injured, and they haven't said that yet. All right, Luxury Living, living uh, New York City reports that Shane McMahon and his wife, Marissa McMahon, filed a legal complaint in the New York Supreme Court last week uh, against the building, Coverstone Lofts, at um, well, it's 28 Lay Street or something like New York City. Uh, the building's management uh, and several yet-to-be-unidentified uh, uh, people and firms in the construction group, and why he filed it, filed it. The claim would be no less than $50 million plus interest. That's going to be determined at the trial. Shane McMahon filed a complaint because water leaks at uh, various points in, the, in his penthouse 
which the McMahon's claims has caused growth of certain toxic airborne contaminants uh, inside their living space. The contaminants reportedly gave McMahon's and their three children severe respiratory ailments, which can happen. And I don't know how much they're paying the lease or rent that place, but uh, with the money being spent, they ought to have it. Uh, a fantastic place, not water leaks. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But if you have severe respiratory ailments, could be just walking down the streets in New York, too. And as noted, uh, Hulk Hogan uh, referred to the Huff Huffington Post uh, live yesterday to promote uh, WrestleMania 30. He talked about how Triple H saw him at the Toys R Us charity event in New York City a few years ago. H come up to him and asked him, when are you coming home? Hogan uh, didn't think uh, Vince McMahon wanted him back, but Triple H told him that Vince wants him home. And Hogan uh, noted that TNA public relations worker Mike Weber was standing next to him when Triple H made those comments. And Hogan... Uh, once again, say never say never when it comes to uh, working a match again. But he will never do a leg drop again. And uh, he talked about having fun uh, in the ring with John Cena uh, and the Wyatt family you know, last week. Uh, yeah, and leg drop has got to be horrible after all these years of doing that on your spine, you know. But if he got into the Royal Rumble, or Battle Royal, uh, like I said uh, yesterday, if he and the Warrior got in there, Warrior could do the leg drop, Hogan just run in to do the cover, win the Battle Royal. Or over the rope, top rope, whichever. Uh, and going over the top rope, you wouldn't have to go uh, with a battle, I mean with a leg drop, would you? All right. Anyway, the next WWE statue from Todd McFarlane uh, will be a uh, on Randy Macho Man Savage, paying tribute to his WrestleMania 5 appearance. And WWE's website has photos online uh, where you can check it out. Each figure stands 18 inches tall and is going to be uh, released this summer and has a limited 500 pieces, which each one individually and sub uh, uh, is a substantial uh, uh, in sequence of what I don't know where they start out, 1 through 500, but. Uh, and it's going to be signed by, by uh, McFarlane. So, uh, McFarlane, my fault. Uh, so, there's you another collector's item for eBay. Don't open it. All right, happy birthday to referee Tim White, 60 years old. If you remember, on, uh, I can't remember whether it was uh, Jericho and it was a steel cage match. He was standing on the edge of the ring. And they uh, got uh, One of them got flung. He was on the outside of the ro ropes. And got bounced off of that into the steel cage. And he was severely injured at that time. They had to haul him out. <clears throat> anyway, 60 years old today. And uh, today would have been the birthday of the first AJ uh, PEW Triple Crown Champion. Jumbo Sharuda would have been 63. Nick Foley noted that his WrestleMania Dream Raffle for Rain ended up breaking the $100,000 mark. And fans can use the coupons, uh, coupon code for a $2 off of former WWE superstar Tyler Rex New Body Spartan book. That's online. It's uh, E-B-B-O-D-S-S-P-A-R-2. That's the code. Two bucks off. Uh, last night's uh, Raw in Brooklyn was a legitimate sold out, sold out, sellout of uh, 15,708 fans. All right, about done. As seen on Raw's opening segment, Batista ripped the seat of his pants when he laid out Randy Orton. Later, he tweeted about the wardrobe malfunction. He said, thank God I wore good underwear last night. <laughs> they weren't even my tight jeans either. Uh, shades of the Deacon. Remember when he was the Deacon? Got to think back on that. Uh, Vicky Guerrero uh, announced that the Vicky Guerrero Diva Championship Invitational for WrestleMania 30 with A.J. Lee defending it against every diva, I think. Every one of them. Naomi Cameron, Brie uh, Bella, Natalia, uh, Nikki, uh, Eva Marie, Emma, Oksana, Alicia, Summer, Rosa, and uh, Layla and Tamina, her partner. Hogan praised John Cena and other WWE stars for their hard work and uh, working in the community with kids. He says, Hogan says, rotten apples don't last long in WWE these days. Hogan said he never misses being in the ring and added that uh, he's thinking never say never when it comes to getting back into the ring. He get, got back in the ring the other day, but whether he fights or not. 
And Hogan and Jimmy Hart, they were all they were on the Opie and Anthony show this morning. Revealed that uh, he would be on Raw for uh, or after WrestleMania. Hogan also said there's future plans with WWE in, in the works. Hogan interviewed by the Huffington Post today, uh, promoter WrestleMania 30, and then talked about his sex tape leaking uh, from the hands of Bubba the Lump, Love Sponge. He says it was a tough situation, and uh, it's probably the hardest thing I've ever been kicked, bar none. But uh, at the end of the day, it's all about choices. Uh, it is uh, what it is. At the end of the day, the pros uh, are handling it, and no matter uh, what it is, I understand people. And for whatever reason, I forgive him. I forgive myself for the choices I made. I hate it, brother. That's not my deal. Can't do it. But he was having sex on the tape. I don't know if you knew that. He was having sex with Bubba's wife, girlfriend, or whatever. And it happens. Hopefully not around here. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.